DJ Scream. Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station. Check it out, man. You know what it is, Hood Rich Radio. DJ Scream Superstar checking. We always always rocking with the streets. First, the up and coming artists. Anybody making noise? And this brother's definitely making noise. Welcome to Hood Rich Radio. Deontay Hitchcock Appreciate in the building. It. What's Appreciate up? What's up? It. How you feeling today, brother? Pretty good. So I can't complain. I'm got alive a, and well. Got a big weekend ahead of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's ATL, yeah. it's A3C and everything. It's going to be out here all week. All right week. Around. What Damn. can the people expect? We know bars. Always. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the given. But what, what can they expect? If a lot of people uh, kind of seen you on these challenges on, on social media, a lot of people mm-hmm. might not seen you perform yet. Right. So what can they expect? We got a live band for every show that we. Okay. Every nice. You going week. straight we to it? Like, straight, bro. It's okay. Straight to We've it. We've been yeah. rehearsing for like the past two weeks. Man. Nice. Right. I might mess around. Can I curse on you? Yeah, yeah. Or we I live. Might fuck around and levitate, nigga. <laughs> okay. Like on stage. Levitate. Like, shit crazy. <laughs> That'll be real. Some new shit. We got one. On Wednesday tonight, actually, uh-huh. at uh, the Union, East Atlanta Village. That's for the Attack of the Peach show. Okay. And we got another one on Friday at Space 2. Mm-hmm. That's for uh, Yak House P. Mm-hmm. What's the uh, actual name for the show? Cigars and Cognac show. And then we got another one for the CSAC show on Saturday. And okay. the ATL, ATLians tribute on okay. Saturday, too. So, yeah. Okay, so you lined up. Yeah, good. Yeah. You lined up, man. You know, A3C and then the other festivals, South by Southwest and all yeah. that, man. At the end of it, that's a time where artists can really get to that. That next level, you right. know what I'm saying? What are your expectations from this weekend after you deliver people these performances and these bars and this music? I mean, I don't really, I don't really know what the expectation is because, like, over the past, I guess, four or five months, things mm-hmm. weird stuff just been happening. Right. So I don't even right. know what to expect anymore. Like, right. I'm just gonna go out there and do, what do what you do. Put me there to do it. Yeah. See what come from. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. 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 What's some of the uh, what's some of the things you're looking forward to just in general, as these weird things start happening, man? As you grow, man, what's some of the what's what's, what's some of the things you're looking forward to that might not have happened yet? Things I'm looking forward to that haven't happened. I want to feature with the okay. That's our top like the like top five right okay. now to me. Got you. Um, I want to have a conversation with Chance the Rapper and Frank Ocean. Okay. I think mean, that can help. Yes, this random that can Just happen. a conversation? Just a conversation. Not even I music. Need just to pick, you got to talk to them. I need to pick their brain on some other stuff. I need to like, holler at you, dog. Yeah, like for real. <laughs> uh, and like free tacos at shows. Free tacos. <laughs> I like tacos. Free tacos. You know how folks be passing the blunts to yeah. the folks on stage, yeah. bro. Pat me taco backstage. Taco. That's all I want. <laughs> and we good. Okay. But that's it. Well, what, what else does somebody know about you other than you like tacos? Uh... <laughs> Been rapping since I was like twelve years forever, old. Forever, right? Forever, right? I'm like twenty three now, so I'm about to say. It so, is are you forever. one of the people that there's always like a rhyme in your head? Like, there's always a bar. Like, are you always thinking See, about bro, lyrics? Not, I feel like eighty percent of my brain is filled with like lyrics. other people. Yeah, okay. But other people's songs though, like other people. I feel like ha- most of my brain is just music. Okay. Like, I listen to music. I memorize music. Mm-hmm. I listen to songs repetitively. So I think that helped a yeah. lot in me being able to write my own stuff. So okay, yeah. Got you, got you, got you, got you, man. What influences you? What keeps you going? What drives you? Women. Women? <laughs> Women. That's easy. I about to say for real. <laughs> Women in the world. Women uh, in the world. I've been in a relationship for like the last three years. But okay. Like, God blessed me to be able to just look at different things and be able to draw inspiration from it. Like, I ain't okay. even got to be personally attached to anything to draw okay so you're in a relationship yeah but you can tell the person you're in a relationship with that women inspire you she's cool with that straight up okay that's dope honesty honestly done been the best key in my relationship period like that's real i like that because i'm about to say if it's something that i can't tell shawty to drive me crazy wow so i gotta be able to tell her everything okay before i go crazy that's real so how does it work man um you get bigger you blow up you get bigger is it gonna be easy to stay with that woman? Is it gonna be easy to stay with your homeboys that's around you now? Like, what's gonna keep you grounded? I mean, shout it, shout it does a good job of keeping me grounded. Okay, my partners, you know, we always been into like fuck shit, but mm. we keep each other level headed and stuff. Right. Like, my yeah. main partner, he got two kids now, so he okay. don't calm down a lot. So we all off the bullshit. Okay. But I see it as, bruh, there's nothing really that the labels or anybody can make you do, mm-hmm. like. It's nothing anybody can make you do. You could bow out or you could leave mm-hmm. before it ends like mm-hmm. that. Cause like if you up there and you at the top by yourself, mm-hmm. you might like go crazy. Mm-hmm. Like you got a whole bunch mm-hmm. of people who don't really care about your mm-hmm. well being mm-hmm. around you. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't the move. Mm-hmm. So yeah. The first time you ever put something on social media, just a rhyme. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What what was your th- what was your thoughts like? Was it just like all right, I'm gonna just put this up and there's no expectations? Nah, it's crazy. Your boy Dukes. Dukes, okay. Shout out right. to P Dukes. I was down in uh Southern. And we was finna put the mixtape out on my birthday, mm-hmm. birthday March 10th. 
Dukes had called me like two days beforehand, mm-hmm. and just on some like real big burst type shit. Mm-hmm. He asked me, he was like, "Bro, if you put this mixtape out tomorrow, mm-hmm. who would really give a fuck?" Mm-hmm. And that shit was real as hell because I couldn't mm-hmm. give him a real answer. I was like, bro, mm-hmm. nobody really. Mm-hmm. We would, but we right. made it. Right. But he told me to go ahead and start reaching out to the blogs and mm-hmm. other people, and I guess the tastemakers and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. they weren't biting on the emails we were sending, so mm-hmm. he just kind of took it into our own hands mm-hmm. and just started doing it. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is like within the first week. Mm. And then Wale hit me in seven days mm. after the first mm-hmm. one. Like, I mean, a whole bunch mm-hmm. of just random people. That's that was, why I said it's been getting weird. Like, right. That's yeah. my next question. What's the craziest call you got? Probably Charlemagne at Char- my mama's kickball game. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. What's the call you want? <sighs> call I want. I could probably get that call from Cole. Okay. And be good for life. Like I might. For life. Yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> like I made it. I'm good now. That's funny. That's what's up. So I take a cold is one of your favorites. Bro, cold. I'm mad as hell because bro, talking about uh, you heard about the stuff in he the yard. Gonna, yeah, he's not gonna perform. Why? Why is that? I, I don't I ain't know. Catch you. He just said, I don't know. Yeah, bro, I about to say when you get to that level, you yeah. might just want to. Things happen. Shit, a lot. Yeah, a lot of different things. We still trying to figure out why we can't get no Andre three thousand. Hey, bro. Can we get some Andre three thousand? Yeah, Andre chilling. <laughs> Andre chilling for life, bro. He ain't worried about music at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, uh, what's next, man? Um, everything that you're dropping, the music you're putting mm-hmm. out. Oh, uh, you got a record called Good, right? Yeah. Okay. What's that leading up to? It's actually a trilogy. I about to say Good, Better, and okay. Best. Like, okay. We just put out Good. We just hit Apple Music, Title, okay. Spotify, and all that. You can go get it. Check it out. That's okay. Good by Deontay Hitchcock. Got you. Uh, we're working on Better now. Mm-hmm. I about to say in the meantime, between time, you know, we're putting out the videos on Instagram and all of that, just keeping people interested. Mm-hmm. But better is on the way, and then we got best coming. That they don't even know what best gonna sound like. Mm-hmm. Charlie. Like better sounding so good, and I don't even know how to top it. <laughs> I ain't know how to top good. Charlie, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. We doing it. Does that happen like creatively, man? Do you put yourself in a space like where you make a rhyme and you be like, wow? You sit back and be like, wow, like how, how where would I go from here? Yes and no. I don't, I I just had this conversation with my partner the other day. Mm-hmm. I don't know how the fuck we do any okay. of this shit. I don't know how I'm writing half this stuff right. in my head. He right. don't know how he make half these beats. Right. But I think that's part of the fun. Because yeah. like, yeah. if I ever figured out, like, oh, this, this is how you do it, then it'll be over It's with. not fun anymore. Right. Like, right. there's no mystery to it or nothing like that. So I'm just having right. fun with this shit. Is there anything you want to just say to people who don't know you? Bruh. This good, as far as the project we just put out, my favorite music that I ever made, period, okay. bro. Like, nice. at first, when we put out, like, Wishful Thinking and uh, 19 Summers before that, we would get a lot of, like, cold comparisons mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, bro, one of my favorite artists. So mm-hmm. when you kind of idolize somebody, it rubs off. But yeah. with good, I feel like I stepped out of that and kind of stepped into my own, mm-hmm. stepped into my own personality and my own music flag. Because, like, mm-hmm. I could rap like a J. Cole, but at the same time, I'm a nigga from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So we got mm-hmm. the flag. You know, Atlanta mm-hmm. got all the flag. Right. So... Good is the best project I've put out so far. Mm-hmm. But when I tell you that better sounding ten times better than all that shit, mm-hmm. I'm talking about bro, we still getting better still. No pun intended. That's what, like, that's what it's about. And I don't think it's no ceiling. Yeah. Literally. Like, that's what it's about. Bro. All right, so J. Cole being one of your favorite artists, man. Uh J. Cole calls you. Get the call. Yeah. J. Cole says, I'm at I'm at the airport, I'm at Atlanta Airport. Yeah. You gotta go pick them up. Where you take them in Atlanta? Three places. First we gotta Where you get take tacos them? off rip. You said where? A nice taco spot. We taco spot? Yeah, I hope a real Mexican taco, spot, not a Del bro. Taco. It's this little Mexican spot over there off of University. Okay. we we'll going to for Taco Tuesday. Okay. Shit hitting. We're okay. going to get tacos off. See, go, you're taking J. Cole to University Ave. We're no going to get the taco. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I ain't really been to the strip clubs in a minute, so I don't even know how they rock. No strip no clubs? Yeah. I think J. Cole could go to the flame, man. J. Cole could probably go. He'd probably be very right inspired. Now, so I'm going to need <laughs> bro bread. Like well, he ain't with you. He calls oh, you. Okay, he want to hang out. So we're playing, we going to the flame. Right. Like, that's out of here. I'll show y'all both be very inspired by going to the blue flame. For real, for real. Yeah. <laughs> and um, what's the last stop before you drop him at the airport? Last stop. Last stop. I don't know. Where we going with Cole? I can make a studio, suggestion. Nigga, we going studio, to that, yeah. That's what I was. I'm gonna make a suggestion. You want to go patchwork, studio, man? Studio, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got goddamn songs to make, nigga. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, top three. Yeah, maybe three. Absolutely, absolutely. Salute for coming through, man. Before you go, you know, you know, you got to bless us with some bars. Bless us with ooh, something, man. Ooh, okay, okay. Just bless okay. them with something. Let them know what's going on, just okay. in case they're not familiar. Deontay Hitchcock is live. Hood Rich Radio, Serious Hip Hop Nation, right now. Turn us up. Hey.
You've been out doing you, I've been out doing you. Smoke a blunt, meditate like the Buddhists do. Think out the box, I can't work in no cubicle. They try to figure me out like a Rubik's Cube. I ain't got nothing to prove to you. Living life like my fiddle was bulletproof. I want the Porsche, can't fuck with no Subaru. Paint that shit black and white like a boomer fool. Ooh, they yelling, cut it out. They instrumental getting slutted out when they want the power. Cause they see you living that lifestyle, you gotta thug it out. Had to weigh my options, took another route. Me and I quarterback that made a different plan. Now I know it's finna be a good year. Cause all these niggas tired like the Michelin man. I'm from Riverdale, just like Waka Flocka. Pull up in that fan. Without the opera, bitch, I got it popping over red and baka. Hit your bitch with that boom, no shakalaka over macaroni. Niggas turn to pasta for all that acting. You deserve an Oscar. I'm just chilling, really, but I know I got. I'm trying to catch up because the flow's sriracha. I'm just maintaining. Only color that I see is green. Fuck gang bang, and I finna act a fool when I hit the bank. I need all Tubman's, no Ben Franklin's. Money come, money go. Women lie, numbers don't. Niggas be capping, niggas be snakes when they faking, they happy. Put one in your back just like Drake and Degrassi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, applaud, 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 applaud. Right. Applaud, applaud. Deontay Hitchcock, man. Give them all your social media and let them know they can find you Shit, where they can hear some hot music. You can find me on the same thing on all the social platforms. It's Deontay VH. That's D E A N T E V H. My name is Deontay Hitchcock. That's like Alfred Hitchcock, like the movie making nigga. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm about to say all the music platforms. We're trying to work out and get a Pandora station now, too. Mm. But we on Spotify, Tidal, okay. Apple, okay. SoundCloud, if you ain't got it. Because okay. I ain't got it, so I feel you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all of that. Okay, that that's works. what it is. Salute, salute. You want to get into another record? Jeez. What you want to do? Let me hear that Good Intentions one Good time. Intentions. Good Intentions on the mixtape Good by Deontay Hitchcock. Shameless plug, feel me? There it is, Deontay Hitchcock, DJ Screen, Hood Rich Radio, salute. What up, DJ Screen? Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio, you better not change the station.